This practice is um, a well-balanced practice. There are um, seven physicians, and we are all a little bit different. Um, we don't do things exactly the same way, but we communicate with one another. This practice is, uh, it really is cutting edge, uh, reproductive endocrinology and infertility. We offer all of the services that are available for reproductive endocrinology. We have an excellent uh, physician um, extender program. We have a physician assistant who's been with the practice for a very long period of time. She's excellent. We have excellent, uh, uh, an excellent nursing staff who's got a, they have a tremendous amount of experience in infertility care. It's important for patients to understand in their particular case what's keeping them from getting pregnant, what the treatment options and odds are, and let them make an intelligent choice. The main thing is to involve everybody and involve the whole couple. This is a very, very stressful process. Patients tend to want to look for things as a quick fix and say, oh, we found one thing and we're going to treat it. The vast majority of couples that we deal with don't have one absolute factor that's keeping them from getting pregnant but have multiple factors that combine together decrease their overall chance of success. The number one goal of a patient trying to get pregnant or a couple trying to get pregnant is success. So you have to be able to provide that and we have a long track record of providing success. The success though has to come with both safety and also respecting their own personal desires and their own background and understanding where they come from. Some patients are comfortable with the more invasive high-tech procedures. Some patients want to go more natural, lower risk procedures. So individualizing for that individual, um, maximizing both their success and their safety, and then also being respectful of who they are and where they come from. One of the things I find in infertility patients is that it's hard to separate all the time infertility from endometriosis from pelvic pain. If they have extensive endometriosis, it's very important to treat endometriosis um, because endometriosis can involve ovaries. We can have endometriomas. And uh, if they have big chocolate cysts of endometrioma, if you don't remove them properly, then doing infertility treatments like in vitro fertilization and all that can be affected also. I have done double fellowship in uh, reproductive surgery fellowship and also another fellowship in reproductive endocrinology. So that gives me a chance not only to be able to do surgery to treat these patients uh, for pain and endometriosis, but at the same time uh, give me a chance to continue them to do in vitro fertilization to allow them to have a cheap pregnancy. My desire for each couple is to help them understand how I can help them in their desire to have a pregnancy because not every couple besides wanting to get pregnant is really planning to do it the same way. Some of them have personal issues. There could be moral issues, ethical issues, financial issues. They all decide along the way with the options that we can give them what their best plan is going to be. I like to be accessible for my patients. My patients, those who undergo in vitro fertilization, are going through a lot of complex issues, medical, emotional, and they can reach me anytime they want, even though I may not be on call but they have access to me, they have my patient numbers, and I do answer their emails. I don't put medical information on the email, but I use that to communicate. If they have any questions, they email me, and I'm happy to pick up the phone in between patients and talk to them. My objective is to give them a fair assessment of reasons why they may be having infertility problems, and then to provide them information on the infertility issues that they may be facing, to give them options of treatment for infertility with the success rates that they may be facing for those different options and to provide medical care to help them go through infertility treatment. Of course, I would love for each and every person that walks through my door to become pregnant. If they are pregnant, it's a wonderful thing. If they're not pregnant, I still hope they had a good experience here with us at Fertility Specialists.